来关注全球现在都很注意的这一件事情——铁拿尼号观光潜艇“泰坦号”的搜救行动。因为根据估算，在台湾时间今晚七点钟，这潜艇里头的氧气就已经全数耗尽了，而观光艇内的富豪恐怕凶多吉少。泰坦号潜水器搜救，黄金时间最后倒数。到台湾时间周四晚间七点，氧气就会彻底耗尽，失踪的五个人就会缺氧窒息。美军前核潜舰指挥官悲观认为，他们的存活率只剩百分之一。Five ships are searching now, ten total expected by Thursday, with simultaneous aerial and below-the-surface coverage. The search area now twice the size of Connecticut and two and a half miles deep. 目前搜救范围超过两万平方公里，还是找不到潜水器的确切位。位置研判恐怕沉入近四千公尺深的海床上，相当于七点五座台北一零一或是四十一座自由女神像的高度，能够达到这个深度的救难船非常稀少，而且要找只有箱型车大小的潜水器，无疑是大海捞针。More ships are scheduled to arrive around the time the submersible could run out of breathable air. The Titan must be found, brought to the surface, and unsealed before then. 为了对抗足以粉碎人骨的水压，潜水器用十七颗螺栓紧密。封死内舱，一旦出了意外，如同深海棺材，乘客没有任何逃生方式，只能等待救援打捞，从外面开启封舱。They will join eight other ships, either already at the search area or en route. The submersible, made of carbon fiber and titanium, no hatch. Its five-person crew bolted in to the 21-foot craft. 至于前一天传出水底声呐，每半小时侦测到有规律的声响，一度以为是失踪者的求救讯号，但是靠着听声辨位，最后仍毫无斩获。Can tell you is, and I think this is the most important point. We're searching where the noises are, and that's why they've um, uh, started searching in that area.、Um, they haven't confirmed that those sounds were the Titan. There was some suggestion that an implosion was heard、uh, about the time that the sub went missing. 专家说要做好最坏打算，潜水器就算没有内爆解体，随着舱内的氧气耗尽，失踪五人平安生还的希望恐怕也跟着石沉大海。就先这么到。现在，包括法国跟加拿大派出了两艘遥控机器人，已经潜入深海搜寻。虽然过去有过成功打捞潜艇的案例，可是都没有这么的深过，所以这次的难度是相当高的。尤其潜艇使用的材料也曾经有安全疑虑。精密机具，空运抵达美加东岸，面对茫茫大海，不放过任何希望。The state-of-the-art robot I'm showing here, which is capable of operating at more than 12,000 feet below sea level,、uh, is also expected to arrive at the search site. It's called the Victor 6000. 海空两路出动，一度有十一艘船同时海面搜寻。I think I've heard one report saying they're trying to find a mine in a minefield. 难度就在不止搜寻范围，将近五分之四个台湾大小，而且可能受困水域超过。三千公尺深。It's hard to even imagine that. Um, you know, two miles of water above you, the immense darkness, no natural light, um, the weight of that. Crushing weight, crushing weight. 这并不是史上第一次深海打捞救援。一九三九年，美军船舰沉船，二十六死，三十三生还。两千年，俄罗斯潜舰在北冰洋爆炸下沉，舰上一百一十八人全数身亡。不过五十年前有过成功案例。Began to wonder whether you'd ever get up safely. Not at all. No, we had about a day's、uh, supply left for our life support, and、uh, we knew what was going on. We could talk to the surface all the time, so there was no trouble at all. 一九七三年，双鱼座三号潜艇在英国外海失踪，被拉上水面时，氧气存量只剩十二分钟可用。两位船员惊险生还，但比较起来，泰坦号救援更困难了。The Pisces was located quickly, 120 miles offshore. The Titan is still missing. More than 400 miles from land, the Pisces had steady communications. No one has spoken with the Titan since it vanished. The Titan is in much deeper water. 打捞泰坦号最大敌人其实还是时间。If you rescue、uh, the sub at this point, if you find it, getting it out is is minute by minute what matters for oxygen. 更让人毛骨悚然的是五位乘客的下场。As soon as you are stressed. Your consumption going to be like the double or the triple. 照推估，舱内氧气已经耗尽。You become weaker. You become disoriented.、Uh, you have loss of focus, and you have a loss of the ability to 
see, the, so you lose your peripheral vision. It's it's a horrific way to die. 而现在也有检讨声音，泰坦号是不是太过简陋，导致每回下潜都在玩命？ It's a 6.7 meters long from front to back, 2.8 meters across, and two and a half meters in height. About a size of a standard truck. 小小空间之外，配备也相当单纯。Super complicated, and you know, so they have two sets of fans that you know, up and down and left and right. 而泰坦号和水面母船的通讯只靠每十五分钟特殊简讯系统联络。All those things we're used to now with GPS and Wi-Fi and radio links do not work under the ocean, and then you know. The the pressure is just immense. 船体简单，自救机制也不多，但让人想不透的是，潜水器为什么没浮出水面 ？And even if everything else fails, Newman, who is now an investor in OceanGate, notes the vessel should drop its external weights and rise automatically. 因此就有猜测，泰坦号是否早已解体？其实这次跟着下潜的海洋之门执行长以前就曾经被乘客质疑潜艇不够安全。I think I've broken them with with logic and good engineering behind me. The carbon fiber and titanium. There's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. 二零一八年，海上科技学会也警告过，泰坦合金船壳不够可靠。Later in 2018, two employees separately expressed concerns about the thickness of the carbon fiber hull. One employee was fired. He sued for wrongful termination. The other resigned. The lawsuit was settled out of court, and OceanGate says it conducted further testing on the sub to ensure functionality and safety. 原来连自家员工都曾经看不下去离职，五条人命，生死未卜，过往争议也再度浮上台面。第一新闻，综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。